。好，下一个我们是大家都非常熟悉的日本的太田成南教授。啊，太田教授呢是我们轻医学的奠基人。呃，过去呃有三年他没有来过，以前是经常来。但是今年，呃，已经这两个月来了三次了，这第三次，所以可能后边还会经经常到咱们国内来。那太田教授呢，原来是日本东京，呃，日本东京中国呃日本一个大学名誉教授，和日本东京顺天堂大学的客座教授。他七四年毕业于东京大学，主要他的工作呢是在过去在线粒体方面，他是日本线粒体研究医学会和日本生物医学分子分子生物学会。和国际轻生物呃和生物学会的名誉会长，他的论文总引用次数已经达到了一万五千四百次 ，H index 指数呢已经达到呃六十四，所以是国际上在这个学术论文的影响力方面呢是非常呃顶级的。呃，在一九年呢，他过去研究一个线粒体病，是国际上第一个呃取得了这个药物的这个成功，这也是非常可圈可点的。呃，零七年最有名的就是我们《自然医学杂志》上他的这篇呃，轻医学奠基性文章。呃，在这个谷歌学术上，他他这个介绍说，引用是两千二百次。嗯、呃，我昨天查过是两千五百二十八次了，所以一篇文章能达到两千多次，都本身是非常这个呃影响非常大的。那么今天泰田教授呢，也像丁院士一样给我们带来这个题目呢，就有这个。比较高的这个站位，它的这个题目是 Heart Medicine and Biology, Its Emergence, uh, Development and Future Mission。啊，请台田。Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. I thank the organizers, the chairmen, uh, for giving me opportunity to talk here. And in this lecture, I want to emphasize this year is a historical year, 2024, because there are so many excellent paper have been published. So I want to talk on the emergency, emergence, development, and the future mission. And as you know, we published a paper in 2007. And over 17 years, more than 2,000 or 2,500 papers were published from the world. So, and this shows only and briefly, and hydrogen can remove the hydrox radicals by selective reduction, and this shows that, and we can show that clearly. Decrease of hydroxy radical by H2, and also we can show that we produce a hydroxy radical in the cultured cell, and in the absence of hydrogen, and during one hour, the most cell was dead. Instead, in the presence of hydrogen, even after the one hour. More cell survived. Really, this difference is remarkable. So, at that time, I decided to I worked. I spent the most time and money and stuff to perform the hydrogen medicine. As you know, there are so many methods to ingest hydrogen. Inhalation and drinking water, hydrogen water, supplement to generate H2, and also injection of hydrop and, and injection of um, hydrogen saline. And also recently, there are so many uh, new materials to generate hydrogen. And also, we can use uh, uh, cosmetics and hydrogen bath. And also important is the uh, a production of hydrogen by intestinal bacteria. Up to now, the, and this year, uh, the, uh, this, uh, there are uh, three uh, meta-analysis publication, and uh, we know that uh, there are uh, hierarchy of 
scientific evidence, so the most reliable method the uh, analysis is the meta-analysis and the systematic reviews. In this case, uh, we can see the, um, the, there are several uh, meta-analysis for dental disease and uh, met, um, blood repeat profiles and after the exercise. Also, uh, one paper for systemic re uh, review was published for the treatment for cancer. So we must, uh, we, and uh, we want to confirm that the effect of hydrogen is no doubt. Uh, from now, we want to emphasize the mission of a hydrogen medicine in future to challenge the unresolved issues. Uh, for example, post-cardiac arrest advanced cancer, metabolic syndrome, and infection, and dementia. Up to now, there are so many applications uh, from the uh, acute disease and for the chronic disease for prevention and healthcare in, and sports and exercise and beauty and cosmetics, uh, relaxation and mental care, so red, uh, and the treatment for the radioactivity, against the radioactivity, and also um, and previously shown um, in agriculture and Samsung. So there are huge area uh, we can contribute to uh, huge area by using hydrogen. And also um, we have uh, Pay attention for the multiple functions and actually no adverse effect as far as reported. So today, and first I want to start the uh, inhalation of hydrogen gas for ischemia reperfusion injury. Uh, because ischemia reperfusion injury induced a strong oxidative stress. Uh, for the cerebral infarction, myocardial infarction, and post-cardiac arrest. Especially, it is difficult to reintegrate in the society uh, after the post-cardiac arrest. So, protection, the brain is seriously important. And in Japan, the hydrogen therapy was approved for the advanced medicine. Uh, this is a uh, uh, process uh, to be approved uh, by the government. And this is the uh, uh, result of the uh, Nature, Public, Nature Medicine publication. So uh, after the uh, cerebral infarction and after one day, we can see that uh, if the rat inhaled 2% of uh, hydrogen gas for one hour, so we can see the clear difference. So white area is a dead area. And uh, we can uh, see the, those dependency. And if we compare to the another uh, drug, where we can see the, um, and the advantage of hydrogen gas. This was uh, animal experiment. So if you uh, uh, see the illustration of mass, it is uh, animal experiment. And if you see the illustration of the doctor, this is a clinical uh, examination. And afterwards, uh, we spend uh, 10 years to uh, moving to the clinical study. And this is a randomized clinical trials and for the 25 patients with hydrogen gas and 25 patients without hydrogen gas. And we can see the clear difference and the statistical difference um, by assessed by MRI and the neurological uh, assessment. And also we can see the uh, efficiency for rehabilitation is improved. That is the uh, first clinical trial for hydrogen gas. And also we performed the animal expand for the uh, post-cardiac arrest. After the stop the beating heart, and then uh, when, we, uh, uh, when we start uh, uh, again for the uh, heart beating, and uh, during that time, the 
rat in how to hydrogen gas. And we can see the clear difference, and if you see the rat, we can understand the, uh, which is uh, um, hydrogen rat or the without hydrogen rat. And the survival of the, the 20, uh, 60 hours, and the uh, survival rate is uh, really um, um, double. And also, I think the important is the uh, memory ability was maintained, and also motor ability was maintained. So this, is, this result was so clear, so usually, um, we moving on to the uh, uh, medium-sized animal experiment and then start the clinical study. Uh, but uh, in this case, we could skip the medium-sized animal experiment and we could move into the clinical trials. And recently, and, uh, in this year, and, uh, and uh, Keos University Group was a published a paper. The patient number was not so uh, many, but uh, uh, we can see the uh, significant difference. Uh, for the death number, it's uh, and improved from 39% to 50%. This is uh, mortality, it's decreased less than half. And also after the, um, and, uh, Inhalation, so uh, the patient with no after effect increased 20% uh, from 21% for 26%. Uh, in that case, and uh, hydrogen inhalation starts uh, after the uh, 40 minutes. And uh, um, so uh, it is, uh, um, uh, we have a uh, questions why hydrogen is so often, even after 40 minutes. Okay, and uh, there's a serious problem in, in the aging society is that Alzheimer's disease or uh, dementia. And uh, usually the aging disease is uh, caused multiple functions, not only one factor, so, and we want to emphasize uh, Hydrogen exert multiple functions, antioxidation, anti-inflammation, and uh, uh, hydrogen stimulate energy metabolism and uh, hydrogen protect the cells, uh, cell death. So we uh, produce uh, um, dementia model mice, okay? And when we provide the hydrogen water and uh, that is uh, the DARO means uh, uh, dementia model and uh, hydrogen is plus minus. So if the uh, mice, mutant mice, drink hydrogen water, the uh, recognition index was not decreased, um, even from the 18 month old. Uh, this means uh, adult. And also we can see the uh, uh, hydrogen uh, water suppressed the new degeneration and the hippocampus. If you see the, that one, the, the, you can see the clear difference. And uh, in the dance model, the number of the sink decreases, but the hydrogen water protects the uh, decrease of the number of the neurons. So we are going moving to uh, clinical studies, for, and we provide uh, hydrogen water. And in that case, it's uh, we provide only 300 milliliter per day. And uh, after one hour, so we pay uh, attention to the carrier of ApoE4. That is a genetic uh, risk, and uh, there is a really uh, strong risk. And um, because uh, a patient with Alzheimer's disease, uh, 50 to 60% of Alzheimer's disease patient it has a carrier uh, of ApoE4. And we pay attention to that one. So after one year, so in the placebo groups, there's no improvement. But uh, for the hydrogen group, um, and that is uh, uh, one dot means uh, one patient, uh, one subject. And uh, in average, uh, the subject was improved uh, 
by three point. And if we compare to the approved drug, uh, and the, the approved drug uh, provide uh, uh, only three E point relief by temporary. So hydrogen must be better than the approved drug right now. So uh, in the old concept, the examination of the APOE4 gene type has not been uh, recommended because nothing can be done to prevent the dementia. But in the future, let's ex examine the genotype and drink uh, hydrogen water to replace dementia. This is my suggestion. And then, um, that is a pre-dementia stage of, uh, uh, so I don't say the MCI, okay? In this case, it's MCI, it's a pre-dementia stage, uh, but, um, Right now, we um, um, inherit a patient with 3% uh, of hydrogen gas for a long time. Uh, one day, a patient inherit uh, one hour, two times, and continue to half year, six months. And then uh, we can see the improvement um, of the symptom and also as well as uh, the um, MRI. And it is very important that uh, the improvement of maintained for half a year, at least. And maybe and the effect was uh, uh, have the trend to maintain the uh, effect. So especially, if you look, please look at the pictures that uh, and that is uh, an F8 uh, equal to 0.2 is uh, me indicate the active neuron. So background, after six months uh, inhalation, the number of the neuron was increased and maintained for after follow up, and then really maintained it. Uh, this was published in 2025 this year. And also, the, um, Professor Lee's group published this paper. Oh, yeah. So that is, uh, shows uh, markers for uh, Alzheimer's disease decreased by hydrogen gas. So nearly the same result. So uh, it's not only our group, but uh, the other uh, Liz, uh, Professor Lee's group shows the uh, possibility of the improvement of Alzheimer's disease. And so, uh, so, so um, Hydrogen has a multiple function uh, uh, as previous thoughts. So um, the hydrogen has a strong potential uh, uh, to provide the efficacy on Alzheimer's disease patients. And the uh, molecular mechanism, we didn't know and we could not know uh, the answer to the main uh, question because uh, hydrogen should uh, not react without the catalyst. Uh, for the chemistry, it is unlikely that hydrogen would have a such a marked efficacy in vivo. And uh, for the, uh, 17 hours, uh, we could not answer the, uh, that question. Uh, but this year, uh, Professor Hal's group uh, published a paper, the recent uh, breakthrough uh, uh, publication, and that is the uh, review that the target of hydrogen is oxidized polyphenol. So and the catalyzed uh, selective antioxidation reaction, and we can explain the multifunction of hydrogen by considering the target of this one. So uh, there are so many. Uh, uh, in our body, it is really abundant and with many types and uh, uh, oxidative stress. So hemoglobin and myoglobin, mitochondrial and cells, and there are so many translocal uh, factors containing porphyrin. So, and uh, if we, we think the uh, following reaction, hydrogen can repair the oxidized uh, porphyrin. That's why hydrogen can exert multiple function in inside the cells and outside cells. 
uh, that, that we can um, explain. And also we can explain that why hydrogen shows uh, no adverse effect. Because, okay, and the hydrogen can react uh, oxidized uh, paraffin. Uh, oxidized state um, indicate uh, um, bad uh, conditions or the pathological conditions. So uh, until now, conventional drugs activate the target molecules and if the excess drug activate too much, or the inhibit the uh, target molecules and excess drugs completely inhibit them. These are the causes of the adverse effect. In the, on the other hand, hydrogen repairs the oxidized perforins, and once hydrogen repairs the oxidized perforins, hydrogen does not react anymore, so leading to no adverse effect. That is the explanation. And also, uh, we know, um, shows uh, uh, hydrogen um, uh, react the other uh, radicals. So in, in this case, we showed that in the presence of um, um, hydrogen, uh, we uh, showed the hydrogen decreased uh, lipid hydrogen peroxide uh, by the degrees of alkali radical and alkoxyl radical. So hydrogen can completely uh, sup um, suppress the uh, uh, free radical chain reaction. And uh, there are um, the three points. And so hydrogen can completely uh, suppress uh, ferroptosis. Uh, ferroptosis is uh, one of the uh, cell death type. So uh, in the initially, we consider the hydrogen reduce the uh, um, hydrochirurgical only, but uh, right now we know that the hydrogen reduces uh, several um, free radicals. And importantly, uh, radicals are transferred to the next, uh, next radicals. Uh, uh, likely, uh, it is likely that, that uh, uh, Trump card came of old male. Uh, but hydrogen um, stopped the free radical chain reaction by removing the radical. And then we can say, see that uh, and after the end product of the lipid peroxide, we can see the end product of the fatty acid um, peroxide is, uh, uh, for example, HNA. Uh, they say the HNA is uh, a mediator for signal transduction. And also, uh, we can see the um, PAPC was oxidized and to make uh, signal uh, mediators and in the presence of oxygen. So that is a function as anti-antagonist. So that's why hydrogen can um, regulate various kinds of signal transduction. Okay, so uh, we can see that the pathway for the various kind of signal transduction pathway uh, for the cell death and energy metal stimulation energy production and suppression of inflammation. Uh, but uh, and there are so many uh, porphyrin enzymes and so many porphyrin content transcription factors. There are huge area uh, unresolved. So we need a more experiment to clarify that the molecular mechanism. So this is our uh, collaborators. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you.